Today I'm going to do a fun rise review and walk you through my $176,000 investment with them. I'll show you exactly what's going on with my account, my appreciation and my cash flow even while mortgage interest rates are aggressively rising here in 2022. Now, if you've never heard of Fundrise before, the quick and dirty is that Fundrise is a private company that offers REITs or real estate investment trusts for people to invest in. So basically what the Fundrise team will do is they'll go out and identify a group of rental properties and then put those properties into a REIT or into a fund and then offer shares of that REIT to the public to invest in giving everyday hardworking people the chance to invest in real estate with as little as $10. So in this video, what I want to do is give you my 2022 Fundrise review covering why I invested with Fundrise, my investment growth after only about two years, and then share my expectations for the future with my investment. So if you like the sound of that, do me a favor and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That way other people like you can find this video. Also, please know none of this is financial advice. I just wanted to share my returns and my portfolio with my subscribers. All right, let's go ahead and talk about number one, why I invested with Fundrise. So if you've been following me for some time, then you already know that I'm an entrepreneur with two businesses. Okay, one is a seven figure social media marketing agency and the other is a six figure accounting firm. So both of these businesses are in the professional services industry. And the nature of these types of companies is that you have to deal with many, many people, right? Like prospects, employees, and of course your own clients. And so when I look at investing my money, I truly, truly, truly needed to be passive so that I can continue using my time toward building my businesses and creating this content. And so one of the big reasons that I decided to invest in real estate with Fundrise is because number one, it is truly passive. I don't have to worry about finding properties or putting in tenants or collecting rent or handling maintenance or anything like that. I simply invest my money and watch my money grow from the app. Another big reason that I love Fundrise is number two, they have a massive cash reserve. They have around $200 million in cash on the sidelines just in case a correction happens in the housing market. And of course, during 2022, when the virus shut down the economy, I felt extremely confident knowing that the Fundrise team had plenty of cash on hand because even if a tenant requested mortgage forbearance and couldn't make their payments anymore, there was still plenty of cash to keep the company and the portfolios and the REITs in very good standing. And so having a cash reserve is very important whenever you invest in rental properties because many unexpected costs can come up like sudden repairs or vacancies as well. Okay, so the third and probably most important reason that I love Fundrise is number three, the returns. I've already seen some great appreciation and cash flow from the rental properties that I'm invested in. Already, I've made $46,321 in what I would call passive wealth instead of passive income because a big chunk of that is appreciation or unrealized gains because I haven't sold any of my shares yet. And guess what the best part about this is? My investment has outperformed the stock market by about 30% year to date and it has outperformed other public REITs as well. So while the stock market has been going down, my rental property investments have been going up. Anyway, I'm going to pull up the app and walk you through everything, but really quick before I dive in, if you haven't signed up for Fundrise yet, then please consider using my affiliate link down in the description below if you do. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the second part of my video, number two, my investments and returns. So they have a mobile app and a desktop app. And when you first log in, you can see how much your portfolio is worth. And as you can see, I have $176,916.76 invested. From there, you can scroll down and start to see the highlights, which are important things you should know about. And then below that, you can see the news feed, which will give me specific updates related to me and my properties. For example, I can see in Q3 2022, I had a dividend of $1,358 dollars and 30 cents the next tab is the performance tab and this is where i usually click when i first log in because 
Well, this is the most important, right? This is where I can see whether or not I am making money or losing money. So let me go ahead and walk you through my investment performance over time. So I made my first investment of $10,000 on November 4th of 2020. And after playing around inside of the platform, I ended up being very impressed and decided to invest another $95,000 into some other REITs. One was called a growth E-REIT, which focused on acquiring properties that will have more appreciation growth. And another one was called an income E-REIT, which focused more on properties that will have more cash flow. And so as you can see in 2020, after only two months, I had a weighted average return of 4.9% or $3,043.22. And that's two months. Okay, some investors will be happy with that return after one year or 12 12 months. So that's really freaking good. But now let's go ahead and look at 2021 because things got even better. So this was my first full year being invested. And as you can see, if I follow the chart, things were going pretty much as expected until they reported appreciation in Q3 and my portfolio exploded going from, from $114,000 to $125,000. And that gave me confidence to put in another $25,000 and my total returns for 2021 alone was $29,000 with an average weighted return of 25.9%. Guys, that's like three years worth of real estate gains in a normal market which is pretty much a good time to say that, of course, during this time, the housing market was on steroids, right? Like there was very little inventory. The mortgage rates were at an all time record low. And during that year, many people just wanted a home. So I don't really expect this trend to continue, but it still was really nice to see that the real market was being reflected inside of my REITs with Fundrise. So do keep that in mind if you decide to invest into any real estate investment trust that the current market can conditions may determine your returns, which brings me to 2022. And as you know, the Fed has been raising rates and mortgage interest rates have been the highest they've ever been in a decade. So let's see how this affected my returns. Well, as you can see, even with record high rates, year to date, I have an average weighted return of 8.1%, which is pretty solid. My initial expectations going into this was I would be happy with a seven to 9% return. So this is in line with what I expected. So in total, after about two years, I have an average weighted return of 20.1% and I've made about $46,000 in passive wealth, which I think is phenomenal and better than I had expected. But there are definitely a few things I need to mention in my Fundrise review. So let's go ahead and move on to number three, reporting. Now, one thing I was pleasantly surprised by was how transparent everything was and how much I learned even as a passive investor with Fundrise. For example, they send out quarterly investor letters detailing stuff like their investment returns across their portfolios, the state of the real estate market, and their expectations for the future. I can also see exactly what properties I'm invested in. I can get a quick glance of the investment size, look at their primary strategy and the capital stack or the debt and equity allocation. And if I want to see exactly what's happening behind the scenes with the property strategy and business plan, then I can click over to the news feed and see even more details as well. So I like to tell people that if you don't have the money to buy your own property today and you still need to learn how to get started with real estate investing, then Fundrise is a great place to start and learn because number one, you're going to get some skin in the game, right? And that's going to get you more invested into learning and and once you have money on the line, you'll go ahead and take it seriously. And number two, you can learn a lot just by reading about the properties that you own, the strategies that they're, de they're deploying, the timeline to get renovations and flips done, and much more. Even if your investment doesn't grow as much as my portfolio, you're still going to learn a lot of great education. Which leads me to number four, my Fundrise review. So as I stated in the intro, I needed a very passive way to get into real estate and this was a fantastic option for me. Okay, the pros are it's truly passive. The company has a massive cash reserve of $200 million to protect your investment and your principal. They're super transparent. You can have great returns like right now it's beating the stock market and reporting is awesome. 
but there are a few cons, right? You don't have true ownership. You have no control of what happens with the properties in the overall direction. You must pay an advisor fee, which gets taken out of your investment and you get no tax benefit. In fact, you'll likely need to report income as a result of being a shareholder instead of an owner, because when you own a property, you can write off the related expenses and take depreciation so that that allows you to pay less taxes. But in this case, you're not able to do that. And this is why I personally have nearly $1 million invested into real estate syndications, where I can actually partner up with active investors while also maintaining ownership. Now, if you'd like to see me make a video reviewing my investments with these different syndications, just tell me down in the comment section below. But nonetheless, I would have to give this platform a five-star review. My returns have been great. My experience have been amazing. The platform is very user-friendly and accurate. So I definitely will continue to make investments with Fundrise and maybe provide another update in the next six to 12 months. Okay, really quick, let me talk about number five, real estate investing versus business. Because a lot of money that I have invested into real estate have come from my business endeavors. And yes, 20% annualized returns on real estate is unbelievably fantastic. But guess what's better? 100%. 500% or check this out, 1500% growth in a three year period. That's what I was able to accomplish with my first business. And so I would rather put majority of my time chasing 100% returns rather than 20% returns any day. So what exactly does all of this mean for you? Well, if you don't have the money to invest yet, I'm not saying that you have to go out and start a business because of course that's not for everyone. Business is hard and very stressful, but I would highly recommend you focus on building up your skills that can allow you to generate more income first before you start investing. And when you're first starting out, it makes way more sense to invest money into yourself because that's usually going to give you the greatest possible return. And I live this lifestyle myself. Currently, I still rent an apartment because I want to focus on building up my businesses and I'd rather spend the rest of my money investing into real estate passively because ultimately that's going to give me the highest returns on my investment at this point in my life. So if you want to know what skills help me become a millionaire, then I want you to check out this next video coming up next. Or if you want to learn more business ideas that almost never fail, you can check out this video as well and I'll see you over there.